the IRS and they could be big. The agency now under investigation for possible criminal activity. During a late night oversight committee hearing, two inspectors general telling lawmakers they recovered 32,000 lowest learner emails. That is after IRS Commissioner John Koskinen repeatedly told Congress those emails could never be recovered. And oversight committee chair Jason Chaffetz joins us. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Nice to see you. Thanks, Greg. Um, so what's going on? Well, it's pretty stunning to learn that after all this time, all these excuses, you know, we have the emails. Now the, the, the tapes have been destroyed. They've been over erased. And, and, and then you come to find out that the inspector general starts to look at it. And in 15 days' time, start to finish, they will define the tapes. When they talk to the IT people and say, well, what about these tapes? They say, well, nobody ever asked us for the tapes. We've had subpoenas, we've had letters, we've had confirmation from the IRS commissioner on multiple occasions, and they've been sitting there all along. You, you say they, I mean, but this really is the commissioner. He has testified, and I assume yeah. under oath, or if he's not under oath, at least he knows the responsibility. And he's, he's acted so, you know, horrified, it seemed like, you know, you know, that anyone would challenge him on this, but he frankly either didn't do his job or he is hiding something. Now, didn't do his job is probably what I'm more inclined to give him the benefit of the doubt, but this looks really bad. But they have changed their story multiple times with great certainty. In fact, he testified at one point that he was there to certify that these tapes were unrecoverable. They sent us letters to that, to that uh, effect. So why did he tell you that? I don't know, and that's why this investigation continues, and I think part of the reason why the Inspector General for the first time said that they are investigating possible criminal intent and and that's by who by the commissioner well i don't know specifically uh, they were there to just say that it is something that they're investigating but these are very serious charges you cannot come to congress repeatedly testify send letters under oath and totally mislead and essentially lie to congress you well, just cannot do that um so is uh, commissioner koskinen going to be called back to your committee anytime soon so part of what's going to happen next is the inspector general has to finish their investigation why why we not are, just call him say call him and say what's the problem we've had testimony from him on like more than a dozen times at this point what we i also want to do is bring some of the underlings under mr koskinen and for transcribed interviews these are under oath they got to raise their hand and we have attorneys who 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 pepper these people with questions for literally hours on end. So we're going to go through that exhaustive process as well. There will be other subpoenas that will probably be issued next week, and we will continue on with this investigation as the inspector general does theirs. And I'd remind people the Department of Justice has not concluded their investigation either. All right. Now, just so we have this clear, 32,000 is what's been recovered. Are those 32,000 different ones from ones you've already had, or are they, is there some partial overlap? Important part of what the inspector general needs to do. There were some that have been provided. They need to take these newly found ones. And by the way, there's an additional 400 tapes that have who knows how many thousands of emails on that. They just found those two weeks ago. They need to take all of those and then match them up and to see what the discrepancy is in terms of what was provided and what is actually new. So we don't know what that net number is, but they're on it. What was your thought when you heard uh, that these 32,000 had been recovered? I just thought, you've got to be kidding me. We have been going through this for years, hearing all these excuses, and then the inspector general said, yeah, we decided to go find them, and it took us 15 days. And when we got there, the I the IT people said, well, nobody even asked this for. I guess what's, in, and I hearken back to when President Obama said about weeks after this broke, I think in May of 2013, yeah. he said there's not a smidgen of corruption, or he said it at some point, I don't know when he said it, um, not a smidgen of corruption, and now, you know, two years later, uh, these emails are surfacing, and yeah. the commissioner, he's got a lot of explaining to do. Yes, he does. Nice to see you, Congressman. Thank you.